hello students today i will share a video about pi molecular orbital theory or valence bond theory in 13 beta di so valence bond theory states that formation of covalent bonds between atoms by overlapping of atomic orbitals so it explains about stability in alkenes alkanes alkynes and aromatic compounds let's go to the example 13 beta diene so beta is having four carbons in is nothing but presence of double bond the double bond present between first and second carbon and third and fourth carbon so the valency of carbon is totally four ch ch ch2 so it consists of four carbons here each carbon having one 2p orbital two p orbital these two neighboring two p orbitals are involved in pi bond formation so one three beta diene having four carbons four two p orbitals in which are involved in two pi bond formation that is called as conjugated pi electron system so here carbon shows sp2 hybridization so the structure is written like this ch2 ch ch ch2 double bond double bond so this means 13 beta diene is made with two ethylene molecules it is made with two ethylene molecules which are involved in two pi bond for formation through conjugated pi electron system based on their electron filling molecular orbitals are divided into two types one is the homo and the second one is lumo homo is nothing but highly occupied molecular orbital so it should having high energy level and paid electron now coming to lumo least unpaid molecular orbital so it should having low energy level and zero electron so by lateral overlapping the four 2p orbitals are involved in four molecular orbital those are called as psi 1 psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 star and psi 4 star here psi 1 and psi, psi 2 are bonding molecular orbital and psi 3 star and psi 4 star are anti bonding molecular orbitals through overlapping of 2p orbitals we have to determine the nodal plane number of bonding and anti bonding interactions line diagram and electron filling in 2p orbitals here the bonding molecular orbital psi 1 and psi 2 anti bonding molecular orbital psi 3 4 and uh, uh, psi, 3, uh, psi 3 star and psi 4 star are separated by non bonding molecular orbital line now let's check the orbital filling in bonding molecular orbital so bonding means here same phases are involved in overlapping so all are same side now coming to psi 2 psi 2 is also example for the second bonding molecular orbital here two are upward direction overlapping and remaining two are downward direction overlapping now coming to anti bonding molecular orbital so here one is the anti bonding upward direction then downward direction again downward direction and upward direction now last one is second anti bonding molecular orbital is psi 4 star so one is upward direction downward direction again upward direction and downward direction 
now let's check the how many bonding and anti bonding interactions are involved in psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 star and psi 4 star so bonding means so here bonding interactions takes place between same phase slopes anti bonding interactions takes place between upward direction overlapping and downward direction overlapping takes place so here so same phase this is the one bonding interaction this one is another in bonding interaction this one is third bonding interaction so totally it having how many bonding interactions three bonding interactions so psi 1 having no anti bonding interaction it is first bonding molecular orbital it should consist of least energy levels it should consist of least energy levels totally it having three bonding interaction now second one is psi 2 so here it having so this is the one bonding interaction same side of lobes are involved in bonding interaction so here opposite side so this is the anti bonding interaction so how many bonding interactions here two are bonding interactions and one is anti bonding interaction so totally it having one bonding interaction one bonding interaction so psi 2 is a second bonding molecular orbital so it should having two bonding interactions and one anti bonding interaction finally it having one bonding interaction now coming to psi 3 star psi 3 star so this is the bonding interaction next one upward and downward this one is anti bonding direction uh, interaction this one is also anti bonding interaction so totally psi 3 star consists of two anti bonding interactions two anti bonding interactions and one bonding interaction so finally it consists of one anti bonding interaction okay now coming to last one is psi 4 star so psi in psi 4 star so all three are anti bonding interaction this is the one anti bonding interaction this is the second one this is the third one because of upward and downward up and down so totally it having how many anti bonding interactions three anti bonding interactions so psi 1 consists of three bonding interactions and psi 4 star consists of three anti bonding interactions so psi 2 having one bonding interaction and psi 3 star consists of one anti bonding interaction now let's check the number of nodal planes here the number of nodal planes are determined the following formula like n minus 1 formula here psi 1 equal to here n equal to 1 minus 1 equal to 1 psi 2 2 minus 1 equal to 1 psi 3 star so 3 minus 1 equal to 2 and psi 4 star 4 minus 1 equal to 3 this means psi 1 having one nodal plane sorry zero nodal plane and psi 2 having one nodal plane psi 3 star consists of 2 and psi 4 star consists of 3 nodal planes so nodal planes are mainly occurs between so anti bonding interactions anti bonding interactions now let's check the bon uh, anti bonding interactions in psi 1 psi 1 does not having any type of anti bonding interaction hence its nodal plane is zero now coming to less uh, in psi 2 so here the nodal plane is one so this one is nodal plane so this is the nodal plane in psi 2 now coming to psi 3 star having two nodal planes two nodal planes so this one is one nodal plane this one is another nodal plane because of it present between opposite directions of overlapping next psi 4 star having three nodal planes so one two and three okay so it consists of three nodal planes okay now let's check the line diagram in psi 1 to psi 4 so in psi 1 
ఓపర్ ఓవర్ల్యాపింగ్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ ఇన్ ది ఓన్లీ అపోవర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ ఓన్లీ అపోవర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ది లైన్ డయాగ్రామ్ ఫర్ సైవా నో కమింగ్ టు ఇన్ సై టూ సో హియర్ టూ ఆర్ అపోవర్ డైరెక్షన్ ఓవర్ల్యాపింగ్ అండ్ రిమైనింగ్ టూ ఆర్ డౌన్వర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ ఓవర్ల్యాపింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రిప్రజెంటెడ్ యాస్ ఓకే నో కమింగ్ టు ఇన్ సై త్రీ సో వన్ ఈజ్ ది అపోవర్ డైరెక్షన్ టూ ఆర్ డౌన్వర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ అండ్ ఫోర్త్ వన్ ఈజ్ అపోవర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ రిప్రజెంటెడ్ లైక్ దిస్ వన్ ఈజ్ ది అపోవర్డ్ then downward then upward so this is the line diagram of psi 3 star now coming to psi 4 star up down up and down so up down up down in psi 4 star it is represented as up down up and down so this is the line diagram for psi 1 to psi 4 star now check the electron filling in psi 1 to psi 4 star so totally it consists of how many electrons totally it having four electrons so here those four electrons are two electrons are filled in psi 1 and remaining two are filled in psi 2 and psi 3 does not having any electron similarly psi 4 star also does not having any electron so among psi 1 to psi 4 star energy levels are occurs in ascending order ascending order this means psi 1 having least energy levels and psi 4 star having higher energy level higher energy level so psi 1 consists of least energy and psi 4 having higher energy level so just i said so what is the definition of homo homo is nothing but so high energy level and paid electron lumo is nothing but low energy level and zero electron so among the psi 1 to psi 4 star so which one having homo and which one having lumo so here what is the example for homo means homo is nothing but high energy level so uh, check the which one has high energy level so psi 4 star having high energy level but it is not having any paired electron so among psi 1 and psi 2 so here psi 2 having high energy level and paired electron hence it is example for homo it is example for homo homo is having so it should having high energy level and paired electron but actually so psi 4 star having high energy level but it is not having any electron hence psi 2 is example for homo now check the lumo lumo is nothing but so it should having low energy level and zero electron and zero electron so here which one having low energy level means means psi 1 having low energy level but it should having paid electron now check the psi 3 star having least energy level and also unpaid electron like zero electron like here so psi 3 star is example for lumo so so this is about pi molecular pi molecular orbital theory or valency bond theory in 13 beta dye students so far you have discussed about what is the valency bond theory theory what is the use of valency bond theory what is the structural organization of 13 beta dye in next one what is the meaning of conjugated pi electron system based on their electron filling molecular orbitals are of how many types and based on their overlapping molecular orbitals are how many types next one what is the representation of molecular orbitals overlapping next one uh, these mole uh, bonding and anti bonding molecular orbitals having how many nodal planes and also how many bonding and anti bonding interactions next one what is the status of homo and lumo in bonding and mo anti bonding molecular orbitals